Hi everyone, it's Andrew. Welcome back to my channel, Andrea's Attic. This is a hobbies channel, mostly focusing on colouring at the moment, especially during the lockdown. Um, yeah, just a quick disclaimer, this is a channel that's directed for adults. We talk about adult topics. None of the videos are made for or intended for children. Um, so yes, get that out of the way. So today we're going to be doing a current chat um, in springtime, a whimsical colouring adventure by Deborah Muller. This is one of her newer books, came out a couple of months ago, I think. Or is it one of the old ones? Do you know what? I can't remember anymore. No, it's an older one. It came out a couple of years ago, I think. I don't know. I can't find the copyright on it. Doesn't matter. Uh, so I thought we'd colour in this one, seeing as we are now in springtime. The weather is improving. Thank you, God. Um, I must admit the weather's been lovely. I've been able to get outside in the garden. So although it's springtime, we're going to do this rainy day picture. We're going to use the prism colours. We've used them before, but somebody has asked that we use them. So uh, we're going to start with her face. Just excuse me while I just get the, the camera strap out of the way. There you go. You hardly, hardly saw that. There you go. I've also got a cup of tea here. So if you want to go and get one, go and get one because you know how long these light usually last for. Oh, that's nice. So I do have a flip through of this. And I will have put this up by the time you actually see this video. So if you haven't seen this, please go and check out the flip through. I've got quite a few to upload flip through. So I'll be making sure I'm uploading every day this week so I can get through the backlog of flip throughs I've got. Because I've got three more colouring books in that I'll be doing flip throughs of. Um, after I finish this video so I do want to get them kind of up to date so that all the flip throughs are done so you will be getting a lot of videos from me in the next few days um. So, first of all, how is everybody? I hope you're all doing really well and you're keeping nice and safe and healthy. Um, I hope you're only going out when you really need to. I've got to be honest, I have not been outside of my house and home area for a fortnight now. Um, we are lucky, as you know, we do have a garden, so I've been spending a lot of time in the garden when I can. I'm working from home now. Works issued me with a laptop so I can work from home, which is handy. All my team are working from home. Uh, those who can take calls are those of us that have got young children are just working on emails at the moment. So we are at least able to work. It is difficult with a two year old, but it, it, I managed. We've, I've been managing, it's been okay. Um, Paul's doing the shopping but he's only really going out to the shop as and when's necessary. Um, if I sell anything on eBay, if it's a large letter, I'm printing my postage off of the Royal Mail website and we're just popping it in a post box. I'm not worrying about, you know, I'm not sending them down to the post office. If I do get a parcel, I've got it on 10 day dispatch. So he'll just make one journey once a week, probably on a Friday, and, and that'll be it, and it'll be fine like that. So trust trying to keep everybody healthy and safe, looking after our postal workers as well. They're doing a fab job, doing the best they can. This is these are unprecedented times. We have not had a situation like this, and by that I mean a pandemic. As serious as this since 1918 when the Spanish flu pandemic epidemic took the lives of something like 500 million people, 5 million people, a lot of people, a lot of people died. I looked it up yesterday but I can't remember now. And the difference with that one is that of course these days we have better medical facilities. We know a lot more about the way that viruses spread, although they did um, practice social distancing and, and all that stuff back in 1918 as well. So because of, um, 
you know, this is the first time in, in living memory that we've had this kind of situation. I mean, there was the avian flu and the swine flu scares a few years back, but they didn't really amount to anything. They, they didn't go anywhere. We were lucky. Um, but this is a very serious time and we do all have to be careful. I want to say that although I didn't vote Tory and I, I would never vote Tory, I was sad to hear that our Prime Minister is in, in intensive care now because he has got coronavirus, he's got COVID-19. Um, so while I am not a Tory, I do wish him the best of luck. I hope he gets well soon. I think he's done the best that he can in a bad situation. Um, and I think that whatever he would have done at any time, he would have been damned if he do. It was a situation of damned if you do, damned if you don't. Um, and I think he's done the best he can. So I really wish him well. I hope he gets well soon. And I hope his fiance, who's also pregnant, is keeping herself well and she doesn't worry too much. And because the NHS will do a fabulous job of looking after him because they are fabulous now. We need them more than ever. And it's only now that I think that the Tories have realised that we need them. But anyway. That's enough of that. Best wishes to, to Boris. Hope you get well soon. Um, yeah, let's crack on. In other news, we're sad to hear of the death of actress Honor Blackman, who was, what, 94, which is a great age, but it's still sad when someone you uh, have been aware of for a very long time passes. Obviously, she was in the Bond film, Dr. Noah's Pussy Good Glow, and The Avengers, and later on she appeared in... Oh, lots of other things, including Doctor Who, which, as you know, I am a huge fan of. Still working my way through New Who. I am now at the tail end of... So just so you know, what I've used on her skin so far has been Prismacolor PC927 uh, Peach Cream. I always use that. And... Then I used 1080 Beige Sienna and I think it was Clay Rose which is 1017. I usually use a lot of those sort of beigey pale colours. I'm now going to put on some blush pink uh, which is PC928. So just to give her a bit of, bit of colour in her cheeks. So, yeah, obviously there's been quite a lot of deaths lately. Not all from the uh, virus, but some have been. And I think we've just all got to be very, very careful of what we do. So I've been colouring a lot so far in April. So far I've managed to colour a picture every day. So on the 6th of April I finished my sixth picture. And I've started my 7th and 8th. So I started another one earlier, um, which I do out in the garden when me and Jen are out there. Because sometimes she wants me to play with her. Other times she doesn't. So what I do is I take a colouring book out and I just leave it with a couple of pens or pencils or whatever I'm using. I put it on the, the table and then if she wants me to play, I will just uh, go and play. Like we play with the football. Well, there's a beach ball actually, but... We'll play with the ball and then, you know, she'll play for a bit and then she'll go off and play on her own in her sand pit, which was wet today. So she got covered in sand because it rained last night, but that's fine. She's all clean now. Um, and when she does that, she doesn't want me to play with her. She just sits there. I go, she come on, we can play. She's like, no. I'm like, oh, all right then. So I'll do a bit of colouring, then I'll go over for a bit and play with her. And like, for instance, she's dropping the sand everywhere, so we were picking it up and putting it back in the tub. I say, well, don't worry, we'll sift it all out because there's some stones in it now. We'll sift the stones out when it's dry. So, yeah. 
we're just trying to uh, crack on with that and keep her keep her happy. So just do a bit, and I've managed to to do one every day so far. I'll admit most of them are patterns. I've been colouring in the Jade Summer Easter colouring book. Done two in there. One in Mythical Maidens and Curious Creatures. And then uh, one of my mandalas. One in um, Gothic Alchemy. Colour in Heaven. And I've started another one in a um, and 100 magical patterns which is another jade jade summer book so what color should we do her mac i think we should do it an orangey yellow we'll do yellow on the first and then we can go over with a bit of an orange if we want so i'm going to use pc916 canary yellow should we use that or should we use a different color yeah, I think the body of it will do that. We'll do the flowers green. Uh, sorry, the flowers red, the spots red, and then the pockets and this bit green. And we'll do her umbrella yellow as well. So while I've not been colouring, I have been reading. I keep meaning to do a reading video and I just keep forgetting. I am sorry. So what have I been reading? I am still working my way through the Vinyl Detective. Um, I have read three. I'm on book four. Book five comes out next month. It comes out in May. I'm looking forward to that. That's pre-ordered. Um, I've read Jodie Taylor, The Chronicles of St Mary's Second story collection which is called Long Story Short and I'm going to reread the first book once I've finished reading The Vinyl Detective which I have to finish soon because I want to reread that by the weekend because I said I'd lend Chronicles of St Mary to my mum because she's running out of things to read and I said I'd have a look see if there's anything I got for her because my dad will be popping up and leaving some Easter eggs on the door for Jennifer for Easter, which is this obviously weekend coming. And I said, okay, well, when I know when he's coming, I'll put some books out as well. And I'll uh, leave my set. Suggested that one just because I know she hasn't read it. I don't know whether she'll like it or not, but it'll be worth it. Her giving a read. I love the Chronicles of St Mary's. New book is out on the 16th. Some people have already got it and read it. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that. It used to drive me wild and I used to get so jealous but now I'm just like oh, I'll read it when it comes. I don't care. I know uh, to avoid the spoilers page and, and that and so I do. But uh, I'm looking forward to reading it. Um, it's called Plan for the Worst. So so the last full length novel was called Hope for the Best. So the same is you hope for the best and you plan for the worst. So we will be seeing what will happen soon. I gotta be honest, I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it. I love the Chronicles of St. Mary's. So what have you all been colouring? You've been doing a lot of colouring if you're stuck in the house. I mean, I, I, I'm not sure what it's like in America. I know some states have got a lockdown, and, but uh, the president has left it up to each individual governor as to what they, how they manage the situation. I don't know whether that's a good idea, but then America is such a big country, it, it must be very hard to manage. But... Uh, You know, if, if you are locked down, and I know most people are being sensible, if you are being locked down and you are staying in, have you been colouring much? Have you been reading? What have you been up to? Let me know in the comments below. I want to say hello to all my new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. We are 
way over 750, well we're over 750 members now, subscribers, so I'm really pleased with that, I'm really chuffed. My battery's about to die, I have got a freshly charged one in my pocket, I'm going to change it over and be right back. Okay, there we go, all back, just let it focus in. I'm just going to go back over this now, the thing with yellow is sometimes it, you do miss bits. So yeah, I've got a few colouring books already this month. I'm not going to go mad. I've got so many colouring books. And I'm going to use this opportunity um, to colour as much as I can in as many books as I can. Some books I'll do more than one picture in. Some books I'll just do one. I've got a couple I really want to get to. Obviously, Colour in Heaven is out again soon. I think it's next month. It comes out the day before Christmas St Mary, so we're on the 6th today. So that means it's out, not this Wednesday, next Wednesday. So could arrive any time. But, I mean, with the posters it is, I'm not going to worry about it getting here early. If you're lucky, it gets here early. If, if it gets here, it gets here. As long as I get it at some point, that's all I care about. I mean, I do like having a subscription to, to it because had, I mean, even if, if we hadn't have been in lockdown, obviously it's even better because I don't have to go out to the shop to find it because it comes through the post. The Gothic Alchemy one, which I've really enjoyed colouring, I've coloured two pictures in it and I can't wait to do another one. Even though... I'm enjoying it. Had I seen that in the shop... Because it's such dark grayscale, I probably would not have bought it. I would have left it there. So having the subscription is really taking me out of my comfort zone and making me um, try new things. So I'm glad from that point of view that I have got a subscription to the magazine. So yeah, I really probably, I would not have picked that book up had I seen it in the shop. Yeah, I really love it. So, would you like to see me colour in that book? Just because it is very dark grayscale and how I've done my pictures. Um, I, I'm in no way, shape or form, is it going to be a tutorial? Um, but would you like to see me colour in it? Because I'm one of those people who... I was terrified of grayscale to start with. So, this way I can show you that it's daunting, but it's not, it's not scary. You shouldn't worry about ruining a picture. We all make mistakes. I've made mistakes. I know there's a couple of pictures I want to colour in there. Um, so if you want to see that as a colour in chat or whatever, let me know. I'm quite happy to do that. It might make a good couple of videos. Um, what I can do is I could do two pictures from it. One with markers. And one with pencils. Now I haven't used the Prismacolors on that yet and some people say it doesn't work very well but I really want to give it a go so I I would like to I was going to do that for this colour and chat but then I thought I really want to colour in Deborah Miller's spring time because I bought it because it was spring and I don't want it to become summer without me actually doing something in it because that would be silly it took me a while to decide what picture I, I wanted to do. I, it was between this one and the one where she's got bunny ears and picking carrots. But uh, I went with this one because in Wales, this is spring <laughs> normally. Except for in lockdown when the sun's out. I'm going to have to be careful going out if it's sunny tomorrow because um, I my skin is so sensitive that I can be sitting out there in, and I'll catch the sun and I'll start itching even if it's hardly any sun at all and I'm itching today so I'll have to get my lotion out for tomorrow normally I wear a long sleeve top I hate doing it because it means I don't get any sun on my arms which don't go brown anyway um only time I ever went brown was in Los Angeles when I went to California but I usually wear a long top one of the reasons I didn't want to do that is because that's what my mum does I am turning into my mother. Mind you, there are worse people to turn in because my mum is fab. 
Mum and Dad are fine, her ankle's much better. She's still afraid to walk on it, uh, it still hurts a bit, but uh, the thing is, she did it just before this whole not going out thing started. Don't go to, you know, and uh, she was actually told by the pharmacist not to go to A and E because of the current, because of the um, the virus. So she didn't, which I think is probably good in a way because she's not put herself at risk of getting it. But obviously, if her, if she's damaged one of the bones, then when this is all over, if she does go, it's going to be a nightmare getting it sorted. But she, her wrist is, I think her wrist was hurt worse than her ankle and that's getting better now. But uh, she's a lot better and dad's fine. He's obviously uh, probably very tired and fed up because he has to look after mum and do everything for her at the moment. But I think that'll be changing in the next week or so she'll be up and about, I think, which is great. I know why one of the reasons people like calorie markers is easier on your hands to start with, and it is. And it's also a lot quicker. It's a lot quicker to colour with um, alcohol markers than it is to colour with pencils. Because we've been going just over 20 minutes and we've only done her hands, face, uh, neck and ring coat and most of the umbrella. And we haven't done the details on it. And that's in just over 20 minutes. Had we been doing this in markers, we probably would have done all that and been on the flowers at the bottom or the, the little duckies. But it, it's good to not... I don't want to be doing the same thing all the time. I don't want to just colour with my markers. A, because they'll run out. And B, because I like colouring with the pencils. You know? The pencils are great and I've got so many nice ones. I've got these, I've got the Polly's. I've got the Marco Ruffines, I've got the Erogitans. Uh, some of the other Faber-Castell ones. I've got the Derwent's. And I like to, to use them and I've been doing a lot of markers lately because it's markers is quite new to me so... Oh dear. So last night, not a very funny story, I couldn't sleep. I couldn't get off to sleep to start with. And then about half past two, Jennifer started grizzling in her cot. So I went and I said, are you all right, darling? Do you want, do you want a cuddle? And she was like, yeah. So there's a single bed in her room. So I pulled her out of her cot and put her in the single bed and snuggled down with her and she's going, peepees. I'm like, no, darling, it's middle of the night, it's not on. It's not a still sleepy time, like it's dark out. And she was all right. She just cuddled me for like five, ten minutes and then she started pointing at her car. I said, do you want to go back to bed? Do you want to go back in your car? She goes, yeah. So I put her back down and she went back to sleep. Till four o'clock when she decided that was time to get up. So from four o'clock she was chattering away. I thought, oh, I'm going to have to get her up. She's, she's not going to go to sleep. What I normally do is just leave her for a bit, see if she'll go back off to sleep. So, um, you know, I'd fallen asleep on the single bed in her room. Maybe it's because I was there that she woke up. Um, so I went downstairs, made a cup of tea, put some YouTube on, because YouTube's always fun. And then I could just hear her chattering away. So after about half an hour, I finished my tea, went to the loo. I went halfway up the stairs and it was quite quiet. I thought, oh, maybe she's gone back to sleep. No. I could sit then she started chattering again and go, Mama, Mama, she goes. And I'm like, right, okay, gonna have to get her up. So by like, I passed four, quarter to five. She'd been up since four. She was out and we were downstairs. She was like, put BB's, BB's. I said, BB's doesn't start yet. It doesn't start till six o'clock, darling. So we, I think we watched some YouTube. There's always just something on. She, she's fine. She's not watching it half the time. Um, I read a half a dozen stories. I, we both had some toast. Paul got up as well really early because of it. 
I started with just around eight-ish um, and I'd gone to do something I think I was hanging the washing out because it was a nice day so I put some washing on the line came back in and Jennifer was sitting in a cot playing and because I, I said where's Jennifer she, Paul said she's in a cot she's playing on her own because you've got a travel cot in the corner of the room which we sort of use as a playpen it, it, it's a safety place so she can she can sit and play in it she can go to sleep in it but when I'm cooking, it keeps her out of my way, so I know she's not going to get hurt. She's not going to put her hand on anything hot and burn herself or pull anything boiling off the stove onto herself. So she goes in there and she hates it. And she cries for a little bit and she kicks off. And then eventually she'll settle down and play with one of her toys. Um, but by ten past eight, she'd gone back to sleep. I thought, you little cow dog. I didn't, I thought, oh bless her. She was tired because she got up early. I thought, I wish I could go back to bed. I've got to work now. And she slept for a good hour or two before she woke up. I managed to get my work done. And then I made some tuna mayo for lunch for Paul. I had a burger thing. And then we all went outside at lunchtime, play with the ball colour, Paul at his lunch. It was nice. <laughs> it was lovely. And then Paul came in and we stayed out there and I'm thinking I'm getting hungry. She was playing in the sand. She didn't want to come in. She was covered in it, mind. Wet sand because it had rained. We put all the sand back in the sand pit and I'm like, come on then, let's go back in. And she's like, no. And then for a bit she was like that and we just stayed out there and I'm starving. And then eventually she was she wanted to go in. I said, You wanna go in? She went, Yeah. Just came in, put the TV back on because Paul turned it off, which is fair enough, because he had some music on. And we um Um I we had some lunch. Um, I finished off my first picture, started my second picture. She wants to go back out again, so I took my second picture out. And we played for a bit longer. And she wants to go, she's in and out like a flaming yo yo, I tell you. I'm like, oh, I feel like I'm on a piece of string. It really is that bad. And uh, we're just having fun with it. Uh, and then about three o'clock I had a pounding sinus headache and I think some of it's the stress of working and looking after Jen. Some of it's the air pressure, the weather changing and I just do suffer from sinusitis. So I said to Paul, Paul I'm going to have to go and lie down. Three o'clock, he only had an hour to do or so. I said she's quite happy, she's just sitting there playing. And he's like okay, I said if she kicks off put her in her cot, just put her in there if she starts playing up because sometimes she will and I went upstairs and I looked at my phone for a few minutes and then I put my head down turned over I had a touch of vertigo because I'm getting that at the moment and I went off to sleep I was out I was out like a light it was oh it was lovely and I was out until about quarter to six so poor old Paul had her all that time. Um, but she was good as gold. He'd given her something to eat because she was peckish, so she didn't eat very much of it. Happens a lot. And then he... When I came down, he came up because I'd been asleep for so long. And I thought, oh, I better come down then. And I was like, getting myself sorted, I'd cram in my blinking ankle and foot. I hate that. And we uh, had steak and chips for tea. And she had sausage, chips, peas, carrots and gravy. Because she's got a thing about gravy. She loves gravy. Then her and her dad had a yoghurt. She loves yoghurt too. We watched the end of CBBS. I put some news on because I hadn't seen the news for ages. 
And then we uh, spoke to Paul's mum on Skype, video calling, because he can't see her either. They managed to get that sorted, which is good. Um, so we had a quick chat with his mum. It was nice to see her. And then uh, put Jennifer to bed. She was I, I, she didn't want to get changed, but I, I was like, come on, we'll get you ready for bed. But I got her top off and she wanted to run away. Pulled her back to, to me to get her bottoms on and her nappy changed. And she just thought, she just gave in. I think she just realised how tired she was. And she just gave in and lay down, bless her, on her, on her mat. And um, she let me change her, so. And then she went straight to the stairs, got up and watched the stairs. Because our bathroom's down here, so she gets changed down here. And straight up to bed, in bed, out. I didn't want to go into bed too early because I didn't want to get in up again at uh, 4 a.m. because I hope to sleep tonight. I've got a couple of flip throughs to do after this. You'll be seeing them in the week sometime. And I've got some labels to print out for eBay. So I'm going to do all the filming. Then maybe go to the bathroom. So I'll probably need the bathroom by then. And then I'll print the labels out. Get this video ready overnight. So I'll put it on overnight. And then tomorrow morning when I get up, I'll start to get in the, the flip throughs converted. I will try and put Amazon links in where I can, if I can find them. Either, uh, well, definitely British links because most of my books come from UK Amazon. And then if I can, if I find the link in America, an American one, well, I'll put that on as well for you. I'm not an Amazon affiliate, it's there to make your life easier, not to give me money. The only thing I would do is if I reach a thousand subscribers, I could well monetize the account but at the moment I do this for the love of it not to make money and if I did monetize it any money that I earn on it would be going back into the channel anyway but we're still ways off there I'm not worried about it I'm just doing this for the love of coloring and I really do like to color it is so much fun and relaxing So now I've got picture seven and eight on the go because there's the one I started in my uh, 100 Magical Patterns by Jade Summer book. And obviously this one, this one's going to be one that we do on colour and chats for the time being. And then uh, the other one I'll just probably finish tomorrow and start another one. But I don't know what one yet. I've got the two, two, um, two more Camellia Angel Cover books that I haven't started yet, so I might do one each in those. I mean, obviously with them being patterns, they can be quicker, not necessarily, it actually depends on how complex the pattern is. Um, but if it's an easy pattern, obviously it's not gonna take so long, so. But I'm also enjoying doing proper pictures. Not that colouring patterns and mandalas isn't proper colouring, it is, and it, can be very very relaxing same as doing paint by numbers or color by numbers i i don't really do those i'm probably sure i will at some point there's just so many normal coloring books i want um but color by numbers is so relaxing because it takes the the whole choice out of your hands of what colors you just got to find the right color it tells you what color it is so i can see why people like doing them and I remember I used to love doing them when I was a kid. And that magic paint stuff where it was all already on there and you just had to put water on it and the colours would magically appear. I loved those when I was a kid. I was just having a look because my phone just beeped. Well, it didn't beep, it vibrated because it's always on silent. 
Nothing exciting by the look of it. That's Jane. Yeah. It's all good in the hood. <laughs> so. There's one thing from working from home, at least I know I'm going to get paid at the end of the month. And I'm going to get paid what's my full salary, which is part-time hours, which is fair enough. I work part-time and I'm happy to do that. So I can still do my part-time hours. I still get my salary at the end of the month. So I've still got money to spend on books and things. Obviously, I'm not spending as much money even buying colouring books because... I normally have my hair done every six weeks and that's like 60 quid because I have it cut, coloured and obviously blow dried. So if I'm out for three months, that's almost 180 quid or will be 180 pound by the time I get an appointment that I've saved. I'm also not driving anywhere, Paul's walking to the shop, so I'm not putting in 50 quid's worth of diesel every month, that's another 150 saved. Now I'm not going to go and blow that 300 odd quid on, oh, that reminds me of something else I've got to do. Um, colouring books but it means if I want one I can think oh I want that book I'm gonna buy it. Uh, the other thing that obviously we're not spending money on at the moment is nursery fees because obviously nursery's closed uh, so while it's closed and she's not attending we don't have to pay we do owe them some money so we'll be paying off some of that this month you know normally we're paying it back £100 a month but we'll pay £200 this month They'll get rid of it quicker, which will be great. But yeah, we'll be saving some money. Uh, Paul should get a rebate on his season ticket because he's not using it. They've announced that you can apply for some money back, which will be good. Because obviously he travels to Cardiff every day. Normally. Obviously not at the moment. Um, the only thing I can think we'll be using extra money on is going to be the electricity I won't say the gas because to be fair the gas really only heats the heaters the radiators and to be fair we didn't have them on today at all it's cooler in the house than it is outside but it wasn't cold enough to put the heating on I did cover Jennifer with a blanket when she went to sleep earlier because for her it could have been cold for us we just put on a extra layer of clothes but it's not cold enough to worry about so so yeah so I'm not worrying if I want to order a colouring book something comes out that I want to buy I will buy it but I'm not going to go mad I'm, I'm trying to save some money I want to at the end of this month I want to have some money left over to put in my savings account over and above what I normally save every every month which would be great if I could like I said last month I took a, a loss on eBay but overall for the year the tax year which ended well new tax year started today actually um overall I was in, I'm in profit so I'm not worrying about that at all I'm not worrying about as the only month I had a loss on and part of that was my own fault for not listing because I've been worried about this situation and everything that's going on so I haven't bothered listing stuff as much as I would normally. I'm still not listing very much, I, I have got some stuff to list, oh, excuse me I'm tired and I will list it, it's just at the moment I just haven't got around to, to doing it. As I'm videoing tonight I will probably do that tomorrow try and take some photographs of some more I've still got some clothing to list so I'll try and get that photographed I've got a dress that needs washing not that uh, anybody's going to prom this year but uh, you know I'll still put it up as party, prom, wedding, cruise, Christmas and then it'll just sit there until somebody buys it it's all good fun <laughs> I love it but I am getting the odd sale. I, I'm not going overboard because I just don't see the point in putting people at risk, including the postal workers. So um, I don't rely on the money. It's a business I'm setting up. 
I've got a while before I'm going to actually need to rely on living on that money over a year yet so I've got time to build it up after this crisis pass, passes but people are selling games and things like that are seeing an increase in sales because people are, are trying to keep their kids entertained at home and it's hard to do it must be so well people saying oh you don't want to be delivering DVDs they're, or games they're not essential do you know what they are essential they're essential for keeping people's morale up they're essential for keeping people in their houses you know we don't want kids sitting in front of a computer all day but if they can't go out and play football with a group of mates if the best way of keeping them happy is to sit them in front of a playstation or an xbox at the moment that's what we got to do so i mean obviously there may come a time if it does happen it may happen that the post office is say we're not accepting parcels or we're not going to be delivering anything like this and in which case I'll shut sh I'll just put it into indefinite holiday mode um, hide all my listings so people can't buy anything and leave it and um, eBay have said if you do it for a whole month they'll reimburse your shop fees um, which is fine but uh, hopefully that it won't come to that hopefully it won't be long before you never know, this could be resolved. We've been going over 40 minutes. But we don't care. We just like the colouring, don't we? I mean, I've got a ton of cameras to list, but i got to be honest, I need to, I've got a load that I need to put batteries in just to test that they're firing the shutter and the flashes are working and I just haven't done it. <sighs> I will do. I've got some more games to list. I've got a PlayStation 1 to test. So, it's all good fun. I haven't done my accounts for days. I need to do that. Um, Paul went to the post office last week and I haven't put that on yet. So I'll uh, get those figures, add them up. See where we are. So obviously we're in a new month now. So who knows? I think I'm going to start after this month paying my fees daily or whenever there's something to pay it might not be daily there we are so the spot's done i think what i'll do is i'll just do the green patches here here and here um on her coat i'll give her red ribbons i think as well so it all matches nicely and then we'll call it a day because this is going to be getting on for 50 minutes I think if not longer it's going to turn off in at 30 anyway so and I want to uh, I've got to do my labels and I've got to uh, I've got to find a mouse for that actually got a couple other things to film yet before I can do that Oops. So this red I'm using, by the way, is PC923 Scarlet Lake. I think it's one of my favourite reds, other than Tuscan, which is why it's quite a short, short pencil now. Not as short as Tuscan red, though, but it's getting there. <laughs> oh, let's put that back and get a green. We want a nice light green. So we're going to use spring green, which is PC one, sorry, nine one three. These are sharpening and lovely. They haven't had any breakages yet. That will happen because prismas break terrible because they're so soft. Um, oh yeah. These look like um, marigolds, which are orange. So.
I'll probably do the more range. This is going to switch off any second now. There you go. I was just waiting for that to switch off and I've just switched it back on because I know it switches off at 30. I know it was 16 minutes-ish when I turned it off to change the battery. So that means 46 minutes. So we're going to be on about 50 minutes, I think, by the time I finished her pockets and her, her green trim. So doing this colour because we use darker colours on the stem. of the flowers and on the leaves around the border. So. I'm enjoying this picture, I will say. She looks lovely. It's funny because whenever I do a picture, I always do the person first and then the rest of the objects last. I don't know why, it's just the way I, I do it. So maybe so I get the colours I really want on, on the person because that's the focus of most of these pictures, I guess. We'll just do this bit here. She's very, very spring-like, isn't she? In a yellow, red and green coat. The only thing I haven't done are red buttons. I'll do those and I will finish the coat before we, we stop. So. <laughs> She's so cute. good I was I, I think the, the hardest part, part for me with this isolation and not going out is I don't mind not going out I am missing going to the park and taking Jennifer's to the park to play on the swings I'll admit that the one thing I miss most of all I'm missing my mum and dad I mean, they're fine. I talk to them twice a day to make sure everybody's okay and that they've got everything they need. But I am missing them very, very much. Because I was down their house for at least an hour every day, um, five days out of seven. So to not see them at all has been two weeks now. That is so very hard for me. It is hard. And I'm not liking it at all. But it has to be done. And I said to, to mum, when this is over, we'll go out for a meal somewhere and have a nice get together. My dad's being sensible. He's got a face mask, he's got gloves. He disinfects everything when he gets back in. Mainly because my brother Chris is panicking about it. I must miss a bit of red. Let me get that red back out. Um, but yeah, so there we are. But that will do for today's video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Let's have a look at what we've done so far on this lovely little miss. Let's just zoom out. There we go. So that's how it's looking so far. So we still have a fair bit to go on this one. It's taken us quite a while just to do these this little bit. But I've enjoyed this one. I hope you have. If you have, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with your friends. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And hit the notification bell so you get notified when I post another video. And also leave me a comment down below. If you want to see me colouring uh, the Gothic Alchemy um, Grayscale book, leave me a comment down below. And I can do two videos or two sets of videos on that using one with markers uh, to show you how I do it with markers. And one with pencils. And I'll show you how I do it with pencils. Let me know down below if you'd like to see that. If you've got any other ideas for videos that you'd like to see, please let me know. I'm always open to your suggestions. And I will see you very, very shortly with part two of Springtime, a whimsical colouring adventure by Deborah Muller. I'll see you soon, guys. Bye.